Hello there. I am Zach Lawrence, the writer director of In His Steps. Maybe it's time for me to actually do a director's commentary and actually kind of be on screen as the director. <laughs> um, I wish I could remember all of my reasons why I didn't um, record a commentary or do an interview within his steps at the time of filming. I don't remember that, but better late than never. Hopefully I will remember all the, the fun details about how we, uh, how we made the movie. Originally we were going to be doing it as a web series. Um, so the, f mostly the first half of the movie was all filmed in 2012 and released in really short chunks. Uh, between, I would say, yeah, it was, we filmed in the late spring, early summer, um, and then released them in like five to seven minute chunks. Um, but then after completing that first season, trying to write the scripts for the second season and seeing what the, the, uh, the response we were getting, the views, and just reevaluating the best way to to present the story came to the decision that, you know, we should just do this as a feature film. Uh, Ken's got us that car. The, that Camaro was a miracle because originally we were going to try to rent a car, but he's like, Hey, actually, I know a guy who has a really nice Camaro. Um, let me talk to him and see if he'd be willing to let us borrow it. And he was, and that was fun filming with. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's, shot took a lot of takes. <laughs> Interesting thing that happened with filming across two summers is um, the church actually started to do some remodeling in the main sanctuary after we filmed. So by the time we came back, that back wall was all knocked out and opened up. Um, they started to do some painting. So that took some, uh, <laughs> some thinking to uh, shoot around the changes to still keep things continuous. Here's one of the big differences between our version of Intercept and the original book that I really do still stand behind. It's when Maxwell makes the declaration of, hey, let's do the, you know, join me in this pledge. In the original book, there was, if I recall correctly, there was like several hundred people who showed up to to take this pledge. That, homeless, man, Jack Manning, came to the doors of this that something like that may have been true back in over a hundred years ago, especially since it was more of a, a social Christianity that they were striving for with you know a lot of political reform and stuff like that. I think nowadays this would really be the kind of reaction, um, especially having gone to, you know, some larger churches, smaller churches over the years, it really is a very small percentage of people who, who do take a step out of the comfort zone and will actually do something different. Or even just, you look at the size of, say, you know, there's a, you have a Bible study or a prayer group or whatever. A very, it's a very small percentage of people who show up to these extra things beyond the Sunday morning service. This shot was fun. Sorry. Going to, uh, production tidbit. So I was on the back of a truck with the camera, um, our key grip slash director of photography for the first half of the movie, uh, had a big old truck with, a a uh, uh, I can't remember now what it's called. Basically a big rack or shelf that, um, you could have a camera person sit on. And so, um, the house was set on a, on a slope. So being able to drive around the slope on the back of the truck with the camera there made for that. That was such a cool shot. I loved how that came out. <laughs> I mean, who, who doesn't like a good love triangle? You got Jasper, you got Rachel, you got Ron. We uh, started to take sides um, after filming this year, kind of during the filming of this bit. You know, the crew kind of split to Team Jasper, Team Ron, um, who, uh, who wanted... To, um, Rachel to just you know who, who they wanted Rachel to uh, decide to be with and of course you know I already told everyone most everyone had read the book already so we knew that she was going to end up being with Ron after his transformation um, but uh, yeah you know they still you, you kind of feel bad for Jasper <laughs> so yeah Lorraine played by the amazing Stacey Bradshaw um, 
She's another one of those who had auditioned for the initial round. Um, and, you know, we didn't, didn't, we didn't choose her for one of the initial set of roles, but then when we were casting for the second half, um, she was one of the people I went right back to. And, and I reached out to her and said, hey, would you be interested in, doing, in playing Laureen? And then there's this jerk who shows up. <laughs> I, the only reason I stepped in as Matt was it was one last person to try to find <laughs> to play the part. I did not write it for myself. I promise. I it's not. Uh, I promise it wasn't a vanity move. It was just the practicality of the sketch. Like you know what, I could play this. It was one last person to have to try to find to bring in. So we'll we'll go with that. It was a lot of fun, and being able to be in the scene with Rich. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, the things we were saying here. Basically, we were trying to figure out, I didn't write in the script what we were saying, why Loreen slapped him. I just write, wrote something like, you know, they argue and it gets out of hand. Um, so that line right there, I was saying, we're trying to figure out why Loreen would slap him. He says, how do I know that kid's mine? Um, and she's like, oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> and... Um, that she really slapped me. We did a lot of takes of that. I, I again, kind of like again, I did not really hit her. She hit me. I did not hit her. I promise. <laughs> okay, again, you gotta have humor to break the tension. Every time I've been at a public screening of this, it's it's one of those things you look at. It's really not that funny of a moment. It's a little corny, but because we've just had this huge. This huge tension of watching the rain die and then Jasper and just like <sighs> having that moment just kind of like it lets everyone's just like holding in their breath and then that little funny moment with Ron is like, ha, huh, you can let the breath out. Um, well, that was really important to have that right towards the end just, just to, uh, oh, not necessarily make it easier on the audience, but yeah, get, to give that release so then you can wind down <laughs> uh, here at the end of the movie. I wish I could remember that moment when writing the script that I realized that my dad's song would be the perfect ending for Rachel. I cannot for the life of me remember when I came to that moment. Um, I wish I could. That's one that's bugged me. I, leading up to filming this, I, I've been trying to remember how did I decide to, do, to use Just the Rush? I can't remember, so I'm going to go with saying, I guess... I guess that was God's idea. I I don't know. I purposefully left this open-ended. I've actually seen it that actually be criticized on like some Amazon reviews and stuff. I stand by that. I wanted to leave this open-ended. Not not for a sequel. I did not want to leave this I did not purposefully leave things open-ended to make a sequel. Uh, I've just been blown away by the response we've gotten from the film. Uh, yes, it has its technical weaknesses. Um, yes, it has its flaws. But I still stand by the, the core message, um, the messages I've been getting of people's lives being changed, uh, impacting people. All glory to God on that. I am. Um, God can use anything. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that clip show from my director's commentary of In His Steps. The reason I put that out is because we're actually celebrating the 10-year anniversary of Standing Sun Productions. And so I'm putting out... Um, new footage from the old favorites, uh, re-releasing some stuff. So for example, the full commentary that I did for In His Steps was made available exclusively for my patrons over at patreon.com slash Zach Lawrence. So if you want to see that as well as get early access to all of my upcoming films, uh, head over there, pledge any amount. I really appreciate the support. And I also want to give a special thanks to some of my patron supporters who have been amazing in their constant support for, for me and my films as I have been experimenting and figuring out what direction God wants to take this. And um, so I really do appreciate everyone who has supported me on Patreon over the years. And if you want to see more of our 10 years of Standing Sun Productions celebration, head over to standingsun.com. We've got some clips from some of our older web series. We've got some more stuff coming up here in the rest of the year. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who has supported our work over the last decade. And I look forward to bringing more films to you in the future.